Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well and uh, if you are new to the channel, tuning in for the first time, hit subscribe while you're here and as always, uh, you guys know the drill, give us a like if you enjoy the video and share your thoughts in the comments below. Lots of news coming out of various elements, of various angles of the flight simulation world over the last couple of weeks, uh, but today we're going to focus on something that's really exciting and actually it's given... Um, this particular program, a breath of fresh air and a more modern feel and look to it. And uh, we're going to go through some of the features of the new Navigraph Charts 8, which is out now and uh, includes some worldwide VFR chart coverage, drag and drop rubber band route construction, uh, zoom down to gate, 3D globe protection, and a few other things as well. So we're going to have a look at some of those features. Now, if you're new to Navigraph, you need to go to navigraph.com and sign up to a package which allows you to get the Navigraph charts. If you've already got Navigraph, like a lot of us, including myself, have, then all you need to do is find your Navigraph charts program, double click it, and eventually at the very bottom of that chart screen, it'll say there is a new update. Would you like to install? Click yes. And uh, once you've got it installed, you begin with this. A little what's what with some of the new features. Auto pinning procedure charts. Something that's really, really useful indeed. And we'll have a little look at that shortly. And you want to sign in using your Navigraph accounts. Once you've gone through that process, it will automatically activate and it'll allow you into the charts. Now look at this, already the world view looks really quite nice. IFR high at the moment, if we go to VFR, let's zoom in, have a little look around Heathrow, look at that. The uh, black dash lines are helicopter routes in and out of the London TMA, over North Alt as well. Uxbridge common for that waypoint there, Ivor Heath, fantastic. It looks really swish, doesn't it? All of the numbers like Woodley and 352 WAD uh, and the Morse code identifier, they are NDBs. And then you've also got VORs 113.6 for London LON, just ever so slightly north of Heathrow there as well. And you can click on it, gives you information at the airport, or you find the uh, VOR on the left hand side at the bottom there, it gives you information about those. Really quite smart. On the filters page, you can work through various different filters and have it exactly as you want it to be set up. You can include holding patterns, for example, um, along your particular routing. My suggestion really would be to have a play and um, in effect, see what works for you based on what flight you're doing. Uh, very subjective, all these filters, just find whichever fits you and suits you the best. Now, if, for example, we're going to plan a flight, we can use Simbrief, keeping that AIRAC current at the very top in green with an Avagraph subscription. Um, we can go ahead into that dispatch system here and add in our details for a flight. We can use EGLL to EGCC Heathrow to Manchester today just for the purposes of the video. And then we can choose uh, whichever aircraft you're going to be using for your particular flight. And then you get a rough routing like so. Uh, if you're happy with it and you're happy that these are um, eligible and active SIDs and STARS that you can use for those runways there, check the ATIS as well. It's another way of uh, having a little look there to see if it's accurate or not. And the weather. You can go ahead and generate your flights. Or inside Navigraph Charts, you can click the Flight tab, New Flight, LHR Man. You can choose IFR or VFR. Um, two different options for chart modes and uh, add in a cruise altitude that you wish to fly at. Origin, EGLL, we'll add that to the route and it gives us four runways, 28 different departures at the airport and destination we can add EGCC like so and uh, it gives us a direct line um, as you can see here. Now if we press this button down the bottom here for auto route we will see what happens now. High airways or low airways, and then we hit create, and there we go. That's our routing. Umlat, Woburn, Wellin, Akupa, Elvos. 
we can change the charts to IFR low to give us a bit more of an idea of what that looks like on the charted area of the map. And we can then go ahead and look at things like the different runways that are available. At the moment on the screen, you can see that the origin runway for our departure, there's a couple of different options. It's giving us the headwinds and tailwinds and the crosswind components. So 27 left and right, for example, at the moment, you can see nine knot crosswind, 15 knot headwind, really nice. That's why they're both highlighted green as well. They're within some reasonable limits and red means uh, not good, naturally so. So that uh, zero 09 left would be departing with a 15 knot tailwind. So with that in mind, for the purpose of this, we'll select 27 left and we'll have a look at the different departures available for it too. Now we know we want to go up towards um, Woburn and it's going to be the umlaut departures at Heathrow. So we can scroll down and it's telling us here to umlaut, umlaut one foxtrot, click. You'll notice at the bottom here of the tabs, as we're building this route now, it's automatically pinning the charts for us, which is really smart. Gives us one less thing to do, digging around uh, during setup for flights, working out how to do things, where, what, which, uh, which charts you need to sort of pin and get ready. And it can just add a few more minutes to your uh, setup. But this now, as we're selecting departures, two, three right for approach at, at uh, Manchester. And you'll see at the bottom now, as I select the runway, And then the approach. It's automatically pinned those at the bottom. At the very bottom now you can see starting the journey at Heathrow. Umlats one Foxtrot or one Golf departure, depending on which runway we're using on 27, out of Heathrow, up to Woburn. Elvos, one mic arrival into Manchester at Dane. It's automatically then pinned 2-3 right because that's the runway we've selected. You can see the Windsor and Limits on the left. ILS charts and then to finish, taxi in. On this tab, you can click the charted fields like so and you can work out where your taxi charts are or your parking stand charts and you can pin those as appropriate as well just to help you more so for arriving when you get giving a stand on VAT sim to park at, at the end of your flight uh, parking stands are always good to use as well so one of the things that uh, we're doing at the moment as we are pushing back in the cul-de-sac here at Heathrow is having a little look at the new map orientation modes in Navigraph as well. So you can select the little uh, magenta bug or the moving map icon as it is now. Make sure moving maps is on. You can also then choose map orientation between track and north. So that's north and that's track. And uh, using the new track vector system, what it now allows you to do is set uh, different zooms. You can zoom right in on the map and you can now see your aircraft position in relation to all of the different stands at the various airports that you're flying to. This is a huge, huge improvement to what they offered previously. Really, really quite impressive indeed. And uh, naturally as well, well, then taxiing out is easy because you've got all the different stop lines, all the hold lines, the little red lines there, all the different taxiways are labeled. You can see Link 26, 27, 28, Alpha Bravo taxiways, and the whole points for the run, uh, runway 27 left as well, November 1, November 2 Echo, that sort of thing. So that in itself is a huge part of this update, and I'm sure you guys are going to find it really useful. Have an explore, see what you think of the new Navigraph Charts 8. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and the links are in the description down below if you, as well if you want to uh, head to Navigraph.com and purchase their subscription to uh, immerse yourselves in this newly improved world uh, thanks to Navigraph. In the meantime, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the video useful and I'll see you very soon. Take care.